family of four for $10 a meal? You sure can. Uh, Chef Dev is going to break down the cost for us. You've done it. This was very challenging though. This wasn't easy and mm -hmm. I like being challenged as a chef. This was difficult, I'm not going to lie, especially okay. in this day and age and uh, people often have large appetites, but four people, that's $2.50 a head. It is, but you did it. 100% I did it, and it yeah, tastes really good. 100% you did it. Yeah. What she did is, I'll get you to start doing the beef. It's a beef <laughs> stew, but the beef uh, was $5.85. Yes, so it's not so much that I got the value pack beef, yeah. but I got beef that looked bright red, it looked good, uh, it smelled good, most importantly, good. but it had that 30% off tag on it. Right. Which I think is important if you're trying to save money. You cook it that night. Yes, no, right? well, but last night we're cooking it right now. But yes, okay, you would well, cook good, it same day enough. for sure. You'd cook it same day for sure, yes, of course. Yeah, cook it as closely, uh, you know, if it's it's got re a reduced price. And, um, and, and before you go any further, yeah. dropping the beef in here, this is stewing beef, so it's most likely chuck. Yes. This takes a little while to break down because it's tough, there's not a lot of fat, so you need to go low and slow, which is yes. why I brought out the crock pot. Good okay? tip. So, so if you're going to get a lower cost beef, you're yep. going to need more time. And again, before you go there, if you're watching this and you're like, why are you searing in a pan before using the crock pot? Caramelization, that mild reaction, getting that sugar, color is flavor, ripping pans, sear your meat first, then yeah. put it into your crock pot because you won't be able to get the same color. Critical. Go on. Is it just color or is it flavor? Well, that co the, it's both because the both. color you're creating, that caramelization is in turn leading to the flavor. Chef, am I allowed to continue? You may continue now. I have oh. to get all that out. All that I have to get out. Okay. So, <laughs> so the beef stew is five dollars and eighty-five cents. The vegetables, carrots, okra, beans, parsnip, potato, all came to two dollars and fifty cents yes. together. Yes. And basically, what I did was whether it's like let's say it's two dollars and fifty cents per pound. Uh huh. Uh, I just divide the amount of carrots that I got. So, for example, this is about a carrot. It's like forty cents, something like that. Right. Um, parsnip. Yeah. It's key, if you don't use a lot of parsnip, it's incredible. It's so sweet, it's amazing. Whether you're in a cold or you're in a hot climate, it's amazing to cook with these types of vegetables. Well, you put all your veggies in, Chef, may I give them the grand total? Uh, sure, if you want okay. to. Okay, yeah. the grand total was $8.35. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. Now, uh, some tips when you're making this stew. Yeah. Keep things kind of chunky and whole because you want this to be hearty and you want it to be filling. Yeah. Don't be too dainty. So all the onions go in there. The potato, I'm going to keep this nice and chunky as well. Good, it's but easier. There's one, it's a lot easier, but there's one huge tip and huge secret. We spoke about this earlier on in the show. Yeah. Use spices. Like with this yeah. finished product that I have here, you'll notice on top, I have cinnamon and I have star anise, okay? Mm -hmm. So these are incredible flavor boosters. Like way back in your spice cupboard at the back, all the stuff you don't use, you probably have this in there. Yeah. So cinnamon, star anise, you can probably get away with two star anise. You could probably get away with one piece of cinnamon. You can add more if you like. But these are the things that are going to set your food apart. This okay. is going to take that traditional beef stew and take it to another level. Your children, your friends that try this, they'll think you're a wizard when you put <laughs> these little things in. Yeah, so this is really important. Aside from this, there's a whole multitude of spices that you can use. Okay. So we're searing this like crazy. Yep. We have all our vegetables, we get our spices in there. Once this beef is super dark brown and yeah. caramelized, I'm gonna add it to this pot. We're gonna get water in here. How long is this gonna cook for? I don't know, how long you got it on for? Yes. Four hours, five we're, hours, we're eight go, hours, six hours. Uh, I'll leave the cooking to me. We'll do two and a half to four hours. Two okay? and a half. Once it's pork you tender. You say low and slow. So. Low and slow. Once the, once the beef's tender, you're good to go. Okay, good. Ten dollars. So then, this is the final product, yes. uh, guys. Cityline.tv for this recipe, and this will feed a family of four. And you've got leftover vegetables to boot. Devin, thank you for that. Let's